All right, guys, I'm going to try this again, popping back in to attempt to continue my thoughts on the Dr. Umar Johnson interview with The Breakfast Club, the first video that I uploaded. Something happened during the upload. It froze, so I'm starting over. All right, so as I was saying, there were some things with Dr. Umar's uh, interview that were problematic, problematic to me that stood out that smoked him out, in my opinion, as... Uh, a, a leftist, as a Marxist, as someone who was contradicting himself um, several times, uh, even hypocritical in some areas. And so I just wanted to point those things out for those that, you know, who are enamored with him talking black to us and don't pick up on these things because we're just so, you know, enamored in his, in his eloquence and in his pro-blackness and ability to talk black. I mean, Charlemagne even said, you know, talk black to me, Umar. And we, as a community, we love that. We, the, you know, the inferiority complex that slavery has left upon us is constantly being reinforced by uh, Umar Johnson and, you know, his other black consciousness, race hustling, you know, on the speaking circuit uh, folks, <laughs> you know, are constantly reinforcing that inferiority complex. And ignorant people like Charlemagne the God who, you know, continue to uh, promote and give these people platforms and uh, give them credibility by featuring them um, are problematic. And so I just want to um, share some of the things that stuck out to me. All right. So the first problem that I had with Dr. Umar Johnson and that showed a contradiction to his Pro black, pro black thought, pro family thought was the five things that he named as major problems facing Black America, and he named mass incarceration, he named uh, miseducation, gentrification, uh, access to wealth, and police genocide. Now, the first three, uh, you know, or make make sense. I can rock with the first three as a discussion, as some as some points to to address. Um, however, the last two smoke him out as, you know, to me, unbeknownst to him and to his own chagrin, as an operative of the Democratic Party. He's he's regurgitating their talking points, whether he knows it or not. However, I believe this man is a socio psychological manipulator with a personal agenda, and he is working his audience. He knows again how to talk black to us and what will get a rise out of us. Okay, and he knows what is politically uh, um, uh, motivating for black people and things like police genocide as the Democrats have taught black people since the 1960s to believe is the one of the major problems affecting our uh, existence in America, um, you know, he knows that we think <clears throat> that that is credible. But the data does not suggest that, not in the 21st century. We're not, this is not post-Reconstruction, this is not uh, Jim Crow <clears throat> that we're talking about. We're now in the 21st century. Police is not the biggest problem in black America. And for him to suggest that police genocide is our biggest problem in America and not genocide as it relates uh, to us killing ourselves, a la abortion, as well as black on black crime, which is anathema for us to talk about. OK. Which, again, smokes out who, you know, who he's really listening to, who has really informed his worldview. OK, um, so that that's that's number one. Um, number two, this whole access to wealth thing. You live in America. You have all the access to wealth that you need as expressed by your <laughs> your little pandering to be, a, you know, Beyonce, Jay-Z and, and Tyler Perry, you know, giving them a little praise. And then, you know, on the back end, you know, giving suggestions and your ideas of how they can help foot soldiers like yourself, since they're the wealthy financiers who don't need to be on the front line, but just need to take their money and fund, you know, the, 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 the foot soldiers like you who are out here doing the real work, but don't have any tangibles. Which brings me to my second point is, where are your students, Mr. Umar? You say that you are a child psychologist. You got these child certifications, uh, certificates and things. You uh, are, are a, a, a principal of a school. You are, you are a school counselor and all this. So you clearly have access to kids. So where are your students? Where is that pilot group of five to ten kids that you have proven your school concept with such that parents would be all over the country saying, here, Umar, take my money. 
Case in point and example, Brother Jason Wilson, please look him up. The Cave of Adullam, he is out of Detroit, Michigan. For over 10 years, this man has been putting in sweat equity, uh, putting his own skin in the game, creating a program to strengthen uh, black boys, okay? Particularly those who don't have fathers. He's created a, a awesome self-determination, self-discipline program that is also coupled with academics in terms of uh, making certain that they are keeping up their, with their grades as they are get, getting emotionally uh, trained, mentally trained, as well as physically trained. It's called the Cave of Adullam, and I think one of the URLs is Saving Our Boys. Okay, this man has worked for years quietly, 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 quietly. Now, all of a sudden, exploded. Okay, parents all over the country, when they saw him uh, with his kids, his pilot group of kids getting results for them, parents was like, bring this to my city, take my money. Now the guy has uh, a building. People are donating furniture, donating everything he needs left and right to him. He's online showing checks that people are giving him thousands of dollars. You can go to any of his social media and see him working with kids and seeing the results. Not to mention that he's wrote, wrote, written an awesome book, you know, uh, in keeping with his vision of saving black boys and encouraging black men to, to, uh, to emotional and, and mental health. Okay? Where is, where, where is your tangibles, Mr. Umar? And furthermore, what are you doing? You talk about, I, I want the Democrats, they need to show me a plan, show me a plan. Well, I would like to know what is your plan to increase your personal income such that you can invest in your own vision, 